name is Brian Buckner, a certified golf course superintendent here at the Golf Club of Houston, uh, home of the Shell Houston Open. We have 36 holes here on the property, so we were having a, you know, it was an issue getting it all mowed out. So we uh, contacted Jamie, had him bring out the Trimax, and then we had a couple other guys come out, and it was obvious pretty quick that we could not only save a lot of labor, but provide a lot better quality cut. Uh, my name is Corey Phillips. I'm the equipment manager here at Golf Club of Georgia and Horseshoe Bend Country Club. Uh, we have 36 holes here at Golf Club and 18 holes down at Horseshoe Bend. I was the Most Valuable Technician Award winner last year, so I got an invite to the JIS. I uh, get there and, and me and a friend of mine are walking through uh, the golf industry show floor just looking at equipment and something red uh, caught my eye and the more I looked at it I knew I said, I've got to get my director to look at this tomorrow. I've got to. He's got to see this. So I brought him by the next day and we looked at it and talked about it and set up a demo and just fell in love with it. Jason Wiedemann, golf course superintendent here in, uh, at Cross Timbers Golf Course in Azle, Texas, which is just uh, outside of Fort Worth. We, uh, we purchased a Trimax Snake about uh, a little over six months ago. A little skeptical at first with uh, any rotary mower as far as a golf course finish. You know, you're looking for that fine cut that for many years has been delivered by real mowers and, and the such. And boy, since we've gotten it, the, the rough cut that we've gotten, the finish of cut, uh, just the quality, has, has really been great and really it surpassed anything I thought we'd see with a, a rotary mower. My name is Mike Holt. I'm the certified golf course superintendent here at Santee National Golf Club in Santee, South Carolina. I actually learned about the snake, the local side farm, and it caught my interest. If I had two areas on the golf course that I wanted to mow, typically hard to maintain areas, mow both of those areas fine with no problems. I wanted to see how it went over undulations, uh, how it floated. So we really, we really put it through some rough stuff here, making sure that it would float, that it would undulate, and that it didn't have a mismatching cut, uh, and it performed well. My name is Mike McCarty. I'm the superintendent at Riverbend Golf Club in Floresville, Texas. We have about 185 acres, 30 of fairway, 3.2 of greens. So the rest is all rough and uh, that's what we bought the Trimax for. Even though they're four foot decks, you would think, you know, certain areas you would have an angle that you couldn't get, and it's, it's surprising that you, you do get those angles and you get them smoothly. So it's, a, it's, an, it's an interesting deal in that regard. That was the big hidden surprise for me is how well it actually goes over mounds. I think just the terrain following capabilities, uh, the large rollers, you're not worrying about caster wheels falling into a, a depression, a hole, you're not seeing any scalp. So the finish a cut because of those large rollers really, you know, like I said, surpasses anything you expect out of a rotary mower. The cut quality is actually <laughs> better than the self-contained mowers that we demoed. I guess the Sith action that the blades come through, uh, where they come through at an angle, uh, leaves a, a better aftercut appearance than a straight, long-bladed, rough